In this video, I'll show you exactly how you can make the viral In Italy AI animation video. I'll also be sharing all this information for free, including the prompts, so all I ask is that you like this video to help support the channel. I will also put a step-by-step -step guide in the description to make it easier for you. For this video, I will be using the Harry Potter in Italy viral video, but you can follow the same process just with the different characters for any other show like Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad. Alright, let's get right into it. To generate the images, we will need to use ChatGPT and MidJourney. So to get started, we will go to ChatGPT, open a new chat and type this prompt. Give me the names of the 10 most popular Harry Potter characters. When it has generated the names, we will enter this next prompt. Now, you are an Italian movie director with 25 years of experience. I want you to create a medium close-up shot with each character from Harry Potter in a unique 80s Italian scene for a mafia film. Just write the name of the character and the shot. When it has finished matching the scenes with the characters, we need to give it an example of our main prompt. So, paste in this next prompt. Okay, now this is a prompt that I used to generate images for another AI image generation tool called Midjourney. 1980 screen grab of a medium close-up shot of female Italian actress Hermione Granger. Insert the scene that ChatGPT has generated. Then add movie scene 80s Italian mafia movie. R32 V5. Say why if you understand. After that, paste the final prompt on ChatGPT to generate all the prompts for Midjourney. Now that the prompts are done, we can head on over to Midjourney. So, open up Discord and log in. I will send the prompts directly to the Midjourney bot. Start feeding the prompts one by one by typing slash imagine and pasting each prompt. Sometimes the images that are generated may not be exactly what you want, so you may have to try a few more times. Remember, always keep in mind the final video that you will create as you choose your images. So make sure you choose the images that you think will produce the highest quality content. After you finish with that, choose the images you like best for each scene and then you will need to upscale them. To upscale the images, click the U corresponding with the image, whether that is U1, 2, 3 or 4. Then right click on the image and click Save Image. Make sure you save all the images together in the same folder to make finding each image during the editing process a lot easier. Now we need to choose the characters that will talk in your video. In this tutorial, I'm going to do Voldemort, so go to YouTube and search for Ralph Fiennes' voice for one minute. Make sure you find a clear, good quality audio sounding video without background music, to make sure the voice sounds high quality. Copy the link of the video and then head to Only MP3, YouTube to MP3 Converter, to convert the audio from video to audio, online and for free. Download the MP3 file. If the file is too long, or you want to isolate a part of the file because it has multiple people talking, then go to MP3 Cut. Cut the audio and then download the part that you want to use. Next, go to 11 Labs and click Voice Lab. Click Add Voice and then click Instant Voice Cloning. Name the character's voice. Upload the MP3 file of your character's voice and check the Terms of Services. Click Add Voice. Now go to Speech Synthesis and click the voice that you have cloned to generate the vocals for the text. Before you add your text, make sure that you use Google Translate to translate the text you want to use into Italian. Then, paste the translated Italian text and select the 11 Multilingual V1 option in Settings so that the character can speak in Italian. You will do this for all the characters that will speak in the video. Then click Generate. Now we need to animate the characters. To do this, we head over to DID and sign up for a free trial. After signing up, you get 20 credits free, so we will use these credits to generate the animated videos. Click Create Video. The video has two different animated styles. The first style is speaking characters, and the second style is head movement without any speech. To do the speaking characters, you need to add the character, click Audio, and upload the speaking audio that you have created. Click Generate to generate the video and download it when it is ready. You will do this for all the speaking characters. To do the second style of animated characters with no speech, you will need to click Script instead of Audio. Click on this clock icon where it says, Add a 0.5 seconds break. I will click on that six times to make the video three seconds long. Then click Generate to generate the video. Now you will do this for all the non-speaking characters. When you are finished, go ahead and download all the videos. Now we need to add background music. To do this, you need to add the right style which can be described as slow Italian Mediterranean Mafia music. You can find the right song by searching YouTube or by using a paid royalty-free music service like Epidemic Sound. I'll leave a link to this service in the description, but make sure that if you upload the video on YouTube, 
You have the right to use the song that you chose. Okay, to put the entire video together, we will use a video editing software. I will be using CapCut because it is free and easy to use, but you can use any video editing software you like. So let's go to CapCut and import all the images that you created. Put them in the order that you like, and add the background music. What we need to do is add the zoom effect to give the video the dramatic effect. We will do this by adding a keyframe at the start of the clip, and another at the end of the clip. So click on the image file, go over to position and size, start the clip with a scale of 100%, then go to the end of the clip and make the scale anywhere between 110 to 115%. Do this for all the clips, then export the video. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and if you know of any faster or simpler methods to complete any of the steps in this video, I would really appreciate hearing them. Please like the video to support the channel, and subscribe if you want more AI tutorial videos just like this.